With all the arches welded and ready, I just needed to prep the site before I could start setting them up. My friend Keith stopped by with his father, ready to help. First a quick tour, and then we got to marking the locations for the bases. It was great to have someone to help with measuring and drilling, but I really appreciated the sounding boards as I tried to adjust my plan layout after the earlier mistake. They had to leave, but I kept on going. I kept this cleaning clip in just because it looks cool on the time lapse, but it was really just prep for the next day when my crew would arrive to help. The crew were my parents and sister. We finished drilling the last few bases. And my father was prepping the arches with the grinder while I was welding the rebar pegs to the bases. Pretty soon we were erecting arches. They go up pretty easy. This trickier part was getting the miters to fit exactly. These were the ellipse arches that were simply cut in half, so I'd expected to have to trim them to fit the corners anyway. But even more so due to the small adjustments in the layout that we had to make. The process was to place them, mark for the trim, then take them down, cut them as needed, and bring them back to weld them into place. This will be a groin vault, so we're welding these rebar pieces to get that right shape and to hold things in place. When you only see a couple of us working on this, the rest are working on the ICF wall. But we call them back when we need more hands. This third section is a bit wider, so the arches needed to be taller. But to keep the steel order simple and to save some money, I just used the same sized arches for these miters. I planned to make the extra adjustments as needed. Specifically, we needed to add about 9 inches to the legs here. I guess a little extra planning would have saved some time, but it wasn't too big of a deal. My original plan did not include a half arch down the middle of the larger rooms, but I decided I wanted one, so I welded a scrap piece in as a placeholder for now, and I'd craft something on my own later. The last step for the day was putting in the bedroom apps. We started with a center post, which I cut to the right height so I could rest the other half arches on it. Then we measured and trimmed and welded all of it together until it was dark and the mosquitoes were getting us. Here's another angle on those last couple scenes. They have a better view of that stub placeholder. You can see my dad is doing most of the trimming and I'm looking after the welding. On our own again, Sherry and I came back a few days later to finish putting up the dormer arches. I suppose this is a good place to show you how the welded nails worked out for holding on that rebar. You just hammer them around like this. You wouldn't need to tie. This is the master bedroom dormer. It's twice as wide as the others. Then I went to finish off the welding job on the bedroom apps. I welded on some angle iron and sheet steel to shed water better and prevent corrosion. Here David is getting in a little welding. After one long seam he was ready to go play with something else. Another day I crafted a curve from scrap steel and Aaron came out to help me weld it into place in the mask. When Aaron welded this last base, the steel frame was done and we could switch to doing horizontal rebar. We ended up using the notch method to keep the rebar from sliding down the steel arches. Using the grinder, we made a little notch every foot that we could then use to catch the wire tie. It was quick and easy and one $4 disc would do the notches for the whole structure. So here you see Aaron measuring and marking and then I came behind him with the grinder to place the notches. Then we spread out the horizontal rebar and tied it all in place. Things progressed pretty quickly until we got to this vault intersection. We had to measure and bend each piece before we could tie it on. And actually with my bender it was pretty easy. And we did it in two overlapping pieces so we didn't need to be too careful with the lengths or try to manage two bends on one bar. Then I mounted my GoPro to a rotating cooking timer and 
started having a bit too much fun with panning shots. Here Zach is starting to drill holes to place the vertical rebar while I'm still welding the horizontals so we can climb safely. I curved each vertical piece to the right shape and then just dropped it in the hole so it was ready to be tied in. More welding of the dormers. And this area above the master bedroom was a bit tricky to shape properly. Sherry took care of most of the rebar time while I was bending or welding. On this day, my friend Dan, who really knows welding, showed up to help. With my wife and kids and visitors climbing all over this thing, I wanted it to be more secure than just being wired together. This was the last day before we started adding metal lath, so I'll save the rest for a separate video.